What is up guys? Welcome back to Motorhead YouTube channel. So if you guys saw the last episode, you will see that I bought this car off the auction right here and we rebuilt it fairly quickly. And when we were cleaning it, there was some sort of residue all over the car and I was hoping it'd wash off. It didn't, so I thought I'll clay bar it and maybe polish it off camera. But upon further inspection, guys, it's a lot worse than we thought. So as you can see, it's this right here. It is all over the car. I have sanded this thing down and buffed it. And even after buffing it, look at that, guys. It is still there, and that sucks. So I'm going to do something pretty wild. I'm about to strip this thing down real quick and paint the entire car, except the rear bumper and obviously what we already painted. I think I can get it done fairly quickly. So we're going to go ahead and start. Waste no time. I'm going to go ahead and strip down these doors right here and that side and then we'll strip down the trunk and then we'll just pull this bumper back a little and that's how we'll paint it all these edges right here there's plenty of room i may remove these we'll see but i'm gonna go ahead and start r and eyeing everything and get it ready that way we can go ahead and throw a paint job on it All right, guys, so it took us 30 minutes to entirely strip this car down for paint. As you can see, paint will wrap around every edge. And then between this, there is a gap, so I'm not too worried about that. Unfortunately, today I won't be able to get the glass guy out here. But other than that, everything is done. I'm going to get the DA, and I'm going to go ahead and just start buzzing this thing down. We'll tape off the stuff that's not getting painted because the hood and this fender were already painted, and they look awesome. So we'll tape those edges off, and then we'll just start DAing the entire car, 600 and then we'll hit it with a red scuff pad. Once it's all done, we'll get it in the booth, taped up, and throw a slick paint job on it. Okay guys, so the car is fully sanded. This right here is grease. 
it is sanded that's not shiny spots but we went ahead and scuffed everything after sanding it just to make sure everything is 100 percent ready we got the roof done and for an hour and 30 minutes guys i gotta say that's probably the fastest i've ever tore down a car and got it ready for paint we need to get this thing done because as you can see we got here at seven o'clock it's 8 30 it's getting late and i'm trying to get this thing done and get home before 12. hopefully we can do that who knows sometimes it doesn't go right so we're gonna go ahead and get it over there get it taped up and start painting this thing and hopefully we'll get a good paint job i'm not trying to rush it i'm trying to get it done quickly but at the same time i'm trying to do it properly as you can see we took everything out for proper r and i we'll just soft edge this right here and everything is going to look beautiful so let's get it over there and let's start taping it up Okay guys, so I just went ahead and cleaned this thing and it's looking awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and start laying down some color on it and then we'll throw the clear coat. We are two and a half hours in, which is incredible. I'm gonna see how fast I can get this thing done without rushing it and getting a good paint job. And right now we're doing really great. So we're gonna go ahead and throw down the clear. I'm not gonna seal it because this thing has good paint all around. It just had really pitted clear. So we're just gonna go ahead and paint it and clear it and be done with it. No reason to waste extra material. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so it's been a couple of days and guys, this thing turned out absolutely beautiful. Three and a half hours from tear down to paint, I'd say for that amount of time and to get a paint job like this. I mean, it's wet right now because I did have it outside, but man, it turned out super slick. I'm really happy, definitely better than trying to buff it out because it would have been terrible. I mean, even sanding it with 400, you could still see the dots. So. I'm glad we did that. Now it's time to make the daunting task of getting it all back together, which is gonna be a lot of work, but I think we'll knock it out fairly quickly. I think Andre is gonna help me do it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with these doors right here, build them, and then we'll move on to the rear, get the rear end built, and then go to that side and just slowly knock it all out.
All right, guys, so we have it all together except this front end. We do need to take this rebar off because unfortunately I ordered the wrong one. So we have to put some riv nuts. That way I can put the radar sensor on. So we're gonna get that off, get that radar sensor installed and go ahead and button up this front end. Okay, guys, so luckily it already has a hole here. So we will know exactly where to put it. I'm gonna go ahead and rib nut this and we'll install that bracket and I'll show you how it goes. All right, so we have our bracket nice and secure. And as you can see, this is broken. And I luckily found a radar with the thing already on there. So as you can see, it goes here. And we're gonna have to cut this, solder it to there real nicely, and then tape it up. And then we can go ahead and install this radar. Pretty crazy, this thing was $300. And I think it's gonna be another 200 to calculate it. I mean, calibrate it. I don't know, hopefully, fingers crossed, we plug it up and the light turns off. But if not, we're gonna have to spend $500 for this little thing, but it's okay. We're gonna get this done and put it back on and see what it does. Okay guys, now I can sleep peacefully at night knowing this won't unplug because we have that new one and I soldered it real nicely, clipped it in, check it out. That thing is ready to go. So next we're gonna go ahead and clip in all these wires here and button up this bumper for good and then that'll be it. All right, guys, that is gonna be it on this car. There's a couple tiny little things like the emblems and whatnot that I have to button up, which I'll go ahead and do off camera. But I gotta say, guys, for a three and a half hour paint job, this thing looks beautiful. Andre, big shout out to him. He cleaned it up super nicely inside and also the exterior. And we're gonna do our maiden voyage home and see if this thing makes it home. And honestly, I think it'll do pretty good. I'm super happy because I put the radar on, guys and all the codes got cleared so we don't have to calibrate nothing which is awesome because that's an extra 230 dollars so i'm super happy guys everything turned out good no lights on the dash nothing for the airbag the airbag light was on earlier but once i put the sensor on it turned off so super happy with that guys and i'm just really stoked on how this thing turned out so let's go ahead and head home but first i'm going to go to my fiance's house because it's her birthday today and we'll hang out for a little bit and then we'll see if this thing can get home and hopefully it'll get there with no problems. All right, guys, it's been a couple of days since that last video, but check it out, guys. She is at home. I've been driving it. This thing's working amazing. I'm super happy with it. As you can see, it looks super nice. I already got it really dirty because it was raining, but super happy with the rebuild. Probably gonna post it up for sale. This really wasn't a daily driver. I just bought this thing to flip and it ended up costing me $4,800 and I think I could sell it maybe for around $8,500. So very good profit on this car considering everything. I mean, unfortunately I did have to repaint the whole thing, but that only took three hours. So to me, I really don't look at that as a loss. I don't even care. We used leftover paint and then the medallion clear. It's $200 for a gallon. We didn't even use a gallon on this. So overall, everything turned out smoothly. I'm super happy and I'm glad it wasn't worse. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoy little flips like this, be sure to let me know down below. And if you want to stick around, be sure to smash that subscribe button. And you can follow us on Instagram at motorhead.co. Stay tuned, guys. We've got a lot of cool content coming up. Sorry for the lack of posts. I took a little break on YouTube, but we're about to be back in full swing. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.